it's Chicken Foot, and welcome to the case of the mysterious Mollings. I, if I think, if I'm extrapolating just from, I didn't even read the description or anything. I just, I just saw the pictures, and it looked kind of cool. You play a fucking beholder, as in D and D. Look at all the eyes are on me, beholder. Uh, in the middle of a fancy dinner party, and I think you're murdering people while trying to keep the, the, attention off you. Let's find out. Anyway. Fancy party, you are invited to attend an intimate reception Friday, October 13th. Oh no, October 13th. Some terrible shit is probably going to go down in an unlucky variety. Food and refreshments to be, this card admits, Mr. Beholder. Okay. Oh, it's fucking loud. Uh, cool. Case of the mysterious maulings. Love it. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. Not a problem. <laughs> Announcing Mr. Beholder. Me am pleased to make you acquaintance. And my ro this is reading so fast. Now the evening's activity is beginning in earnest. I've brought you all together tonight. An intrepid archaeologist, a decorated young novelist, a mystically gifted spiritualist, and my new next door neighbor, who I am yet to meet properly. Me. And my loyal butler, of course. Surely you are wondering why. What myst oh, m mysterious purpose could have been I have for inviting you all here? Fuck! Well, my friends, I'll tell you. It's really tiny print. Ah! For no other reason than it's time to reveal to my deepest, darkest secret. Well, you see, ladies and gentlemen, my secret is... <laughs> ah, calm down. I'm nobody going to panic. Now, the killer am have to be somebody in this room. <laughs> Blood on my mouth. Ow. That means nobody leave here. I think I just eat everybody. Until me find out what one of you am the killer. And I think we're playing. I don't know how to play. Oh, I move like this. No, no, no. What do I do? Okay. Uh, yes, I sense that you wish to speak with me. Now you're they're buying it. Now gossip to find out who each guest dislikes and slander that person to shift suspicions off yourself. When you run out of patience for conversation, murder whoever seems like a threat. Awesome. Gossip about adventurer. What do you think of archaeologist? Her aura is such a lovely shade of purple. I always get famous for purple auras. Uh, okay. Gossip? That guy. You like novelist? My spirit guide overheard the man very rude comment about my turban. Doesn't realize I could curse them with festering royals whenever I please? Well, uh, slander. Loves to impending my murder. <laughs> my murder jar. Then I wonder if I... Gossip. This guy. Uh, I can't say I've got much place where a kid could show some nerve. Slander novelist. That was the guiltiest person I ever saw. I don't know what she said. Shit. Numbers! Excuse me, I am going to get my punch. Yes! <laughs> oh my god! Is that the true my spirit guy? Uh, oh, what? Gossip, this guy. A very rude comment about my turban. Oh, it's the same? Really? Can't believe this. Gossip, this. I don't find him very memorable. 
Slander, goth, this fucker. If the novelists am not killer, me am. Good lord, people's was. Ah. Well, then this should be fucking easy. I am just going to go this way now. He backs up like the fucking embarrassed Kool Aid man. <laughs> Murder! Oh no! Slander this asshole! Oh, really? Uh oh, you, you've upset someone with your. Fuck him! We am needing to go use the bathroom! See, that's it for the game. I don't know how the hell to stretch that and make it interesting other than like show you guys be eating them again And that seems kind of boring. So instead I uh, Started a new segment on the channel and I hope if you haven't checked it out It's called story time and it's a place where uh, I'm gonna share my stories and things uh, It's a place where I'm gonna share my stories uh, I'm a uh, The segment centers around me sharing just stories in general, whether that's things that I've written or uh, or other people, books that I really like to get you guys into the things that I like, or more importantly, stories that you guys have written or stories that you want told that maybe you're a little shy or maybe you just want an outlet for them or something like that, you know what I mean? So feel free to send in whatever you're working on and it doesn't need to be anything like a novel per se or an essay or anything like that. It can just be like, this thing happened with a friend of mine some years back. I. Uh, really liked this time that I went to Six Flags, you know, whatever. Um, it, it, as long as it's just a story that you want told to people that maybe you haven't had the outlet to do so, that uh, the segment story time is a place to do that. So, in keeping with that theme, I am going to share with you uh, a story from one of my favorite authors, H.P. Lovecraft. Ta-da! Yeah. So if you don't know Lovecraft, um, he's, he's like the father uh, of uh, weird fiction and paranormal and it was said that he would get all of his ideas from his dreams and he had some fairly fucked up dreams apparently and a lot of what you see nowadays in uh, horror and cinema and uh, uh, like weird fiction it's all from his ideas or, uh, and uh, of course a handful of others and everything but a lot of people harken back to uh, harken back to H.P. Lovecraft and uh, you probably have heard of Cthulhu and all that good stuff. Uh, quick disclaimer before I start reading this thing. Lovecraft used words like he was gonna win something if he used as many as he possibly fucking could. So if you are bored by verbose dialogue, I highly suggest going and finding a cat video right now. And I'm not ridiculing you. Cat videos are fucking awesome. So Markiplier just made a really great one. Go check it out. So since the game was so short, I'm gonna give you a short story by H.P. Lovecraft. It's entitled Night Gaunts. And seriously, it's like this big. And, because I'm awesome, here is a little illustration of what a night gaunt might look like. <laughs> here we go. Of what crypt they crawl, I cannot tell, but every night I see the rubbery things. Black, horned, and slender, with membranous wings, they come in legions on the north wind's swell. With obscene clutch that titillates and stings, snatching me off on monstrous voyagings, the gray worlds hidden deep in nightmares well. Over the jagged peaks of Thok they sweep, heedless of all the cries I try to make, and down the nether pits to that foul lake, 
where the puffed shoggoths splash in a doubtful sleep. But ho, oh, if only they would make some sound or wear a face where faces should be found. That is Night Gaunts by H.P. Lovecraft. And again, Lovecraft is really famous for doing weird fiction. His work appears everywhere in fiction. It's incredible. Arkham Asylum, I'm sure you've seen someone with a Miskatonic University sticker. Of course, Cthulhu, Dagon. There's been a ton of games that have tr that have been made about it. The Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Earth a long time ago, uh, which I actually liked. Um, but anyway, anything that Lovecraftian lore touches, I'm absolutely in love with. So if you guys have suggestions of games or shows or anything like that, please leave them in the comments. Anytime that I get my hands on anything that's sort of inspired by, that's even remotely inspired by Lovecraft, I'm all about it. I love to see how people uh, change, augment, whatever, alter his work uh, to fit their story. But uh, that's going to be it from me. My name is Chickenfoot. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the short little story. This has been uh, The Case of the Mysterious Maulings, a.k.a. How the fuck did nobody know that I was the killer? I'm the only, whatever, who cares? People see what they want to see. You guys are absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much for coming on by. Get out there. Have the best day that you've ever had. Like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Yeah. This guy, kill that guy. Fuck him. Coins, upgrade. Well, hello. Hey, everybody. It's Chickenfoot, and welcome to Video Game the Game. Uh, I didn't want to say anything and do the intro before the seizure warning was there. So apparently, if you have issues with headaches and seizures, don't watch this. Uh, but if you made it through Flappy Bird 420 MLG, motherfucker, then you're probably fine. I think I get where this game is going. Follow along, won't you? Stats, use the skill to get better. Upgrade. Explore. Quest. You are the last hope for humanity. What? I used to be an eventual like you. Hey, you, do my quest now, K-Fax, bye. More coins, guns, guns. More guns, more enemies. Jesus Kill everyone. God. He's dead. He just died. Coins, coins, get coins. Rich. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Explore all this fucking shit. Even more enemies. Oh. Everything. Oh. Fucking ass. Okay, whatever. <laughs>